How do internet and welcome back for another exciting round of GeoSketcher, the fun online art challenge. If you want to keep up with the challenges that are going on, that you can join in with and play along with too, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and share it with your friends so that we can get a little community of people making awesome little piece of artwork twice a week, every week, all year round. Without further ado, we're going to jump in. So for those that don't know, we're playing the game GeoGuessr and we're adding a creative twist. What we're going to do is we're going to jump into a, into a map. We're going to choose famous places this week. We're an old favourite of mine. And what we're going to do is we can have anywhere between 1 and 10 minutes to draw an image. That's going to be decided by a roll of this 10-sided ten dice. So we're going to have two minutes. Like a previous uh, video I've already done, we know how hectic it can get when we only have two minutes. And that includes guessing time and drawing time. So stick around to see uh, some of the fantastic drawings that can be made in two minutes flat. If we can, we'll try and add colour as we go along, but I think in two minutes it's going to be a bit of a push. So without further ado, let's make a challenge, which means down in the description below, you'll find a link. If you click on that link, you'll play along the exact same game with me. So maybe grab yourself some paper and pens, pause the video now, and you can do some drawings too. Maybe you'll choose something different to draw than I do, maybe you'll do a drawing that's a lot better than mine. Share that across the social medias, tag me in it if you want, and I'll look, be really quite excited to see what other people are making out there. So let's jump in. So as I said, that description down in the down in the description below. Link down in the description below. Click it, play along. And on to round one. So we're somewhere famous in the world. This is looking like me. I wonder where we could be. I wonder where possibly we could be where there's a big red suspension bridge. Stop wasting time. We're on Alcatraz. We're going to draw. It's got to it's got to be the Alcatraz watchtower, surely. Um, and we're going to throw in a guess first. So we're going to come straight down. We know where we are. Um, I say that. Treasure Island, Alcatraz. There we go. And we are oh, must be somewhere down here. So we're going to draw the Alcatraz lighthouse. So a uh, thing that seems to feature quite often on these. Uh, on these videos is drawing lighthouses. This is the third one I've drawn, I believe. And what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing this. So we've got a long. So if anyone that's drawing along will know that two minutes to uh, sketch and draw anything, you'll find out if you if you don't <laughs> if you don't know already, it's not that long at all. So you end up with a drawing that will be passable as what it is that you're drawing, but it's also a great skill to uh, to hone the ability to block in a shape, give yourselves, uh, so I, I can see up here we've got this kind of little cross section window going round, which is a, it seems to be a prominent feature here, we've got a, a railing coming across too, so we'll try and get that in. And all, all we're really doing here is we're picking out the things that jump out straight away. The things that are important to try and get in. We've got some sort of elongated window here. We'll just shade that in. And then these here are little jutting out strengthening stanchions to hold up the top platform. So we'll get them in as well. And there we go. That's, that's as far as we got with that drawing. You know what? I'm going to make that a little bit shorter. Just for the economy of saving paper. Being green, being efficient, being sustainable. That's what it's all about. Uh, we were 20 yards away. If I'd had a little bit longer, I could have got a little bit closer and we could have not lost that point. I wonder if anyone out there managed to get the full 5,000 points for that round. Very good location. We're going to move on. Playing the next round, next drawing. Ooh. So I've made the caveat here that we're not allowed to move and explore where we are, but I presume, yeah, I was going to say, San Francisco, Richard Serra, so we're, we're, we're uh, commissioned by the Guggenheim collection, it could be anywhere, it could be anywhere, ah, right, we need to find something to draw, this is obviously a piece of artwork that no longer has a license to be on Google, um, we might, uh, we, might we might struggle with this one. 
uh, let's try and draw a little bit of Richard Serra's work. So for anyone that doesn't know uh, or hasn't come across Richard Serra, fascinating artist. Uh, he's an artist who um, was interested in in, in the uh, sort of the art of doing. Uh, you'll find out there um, if you have a look for it. Uh, anyone who's interested can find uh, the Richard Serra verb list, I believe it's called, uh, and it's got on there things like uh, to squash, to pull, to manipulate, all different kinds of doing words and. What it, his, his kind of fascination was taking objects and taking items and uh, sort of pushing them sculpturally uh, to see what could be done. Uh, so these here are actually giant metal sheets. Um, he, 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 he did lots of pieces of artwork uh, of, of this kind and um, he kind of in this instance it, he coils them up so you walk in between them i've seen i've been to see a few in uh, in galleries myself around the world and uh, they're really sort of uh, imposing uh, pieces sometimes and uh, i'd recommend that if anyone is uh, in a in a close locale to uh, go and see something like this oh we didn't make a guess ah oh. ah oh, so I, I would have gone in America, to be honest, but no, we're in, we're in the Guggenheim. Oh, I even read that. So, if anyone out there is playing along, Richard Sarah, Guggenheim, Guggenheim. If anyone out there was playing along and heard me say Guggenheim and went for that, they. Will have done a lot better than that, than me. Can't believe I didn't make a guess. But that, when you've got these short two minute challenges, you want to get a little drawing in. So I was quite happy with that drawing um, in the grand scheme of things. I've managed to capture the, the, the room beyond. Uh, I guess the only thing that I could have done was get a little bit of shading, sort of showing that coming round um, and a, maybe a line coming across to show the back end of that room. Um, with 10 more minutes, I would have had a completely different drawing than this, I imagine. But by limiting yourself, you allow yourself to explore those kind of brief moments. Uh, it's almost as though you're sketching it as you pass by on a bus and you've only got a few seconds to capture what it is your your uh, subject is. So we were up here in Bilbao, northern Spain. If you don't make a guess, it throws you sell yourself onto the equator near wherever you're looking. So unfortunately, no points this round. Okay, another famous place somewhere in the world. Immediately jumping out as European. Um, we look like we've got the ocean out, possibly a courtyard. Um, it's going up, possibly um, Mont Saint-Michel. It's on the northern coast. This is where you have to try and remember where things are. I think it's more down this way. Sort of, I know it's opposite places we're just going to pop it up here and we're going to get drawing something um this little two minutes is not long enough uh right anyway um stop complaining start drawing um so we this is a beautiful little scene i, I, I want to spend i want to spend an hour or so drawing this i want to get a really nice representation of what, what what's going on here but uh alas the uh limitations of the geo sketching challenge, which is now out there for anyone to partake in, if you feel that way inclined, is upon us. Maybe I can come back and visit this location again. Perhaps one day make it out there in person and get a bit longer to draw. And so you can see that with the short time we've got, 22 seconds remaining, the only options you've really got is, is like I said, to get those to get those sort of brief hints of uh, what is there. Uh, just so you can capture it. So you, it becomes a collection of, uh, of sketches, of lines, of things that... Um, 
I mean, I wanted to get all this fascinating window. I, I wasn't far off. I wasn't far off. Uh, northern coast of France. We were Mont Saint Michel. Like I said, well done me. A little round of applause for knowing where I was. Um, if anyone got that any closer than me, pat on the back for sure. Um, and a little tiny drawing. I mean, jumping back in, you can see the detail that we could have had if we had more time. We had this little window coming up here. Could have brought a cross and maybe got some of this chimney in. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put down here Mont Saint Michel. Like that. Along there. So it's always useful when you're doing geo sketches. I didn't put this in before. Alcatraz. Lighthouse. It's always interesting just to note down where places are. I realise that's a little bit, potentially a little bit far away for people to see. I've gone quite small with the drawings. But again, when you've only got two minutes, it's, it's kind of the only option you have. Um, one, two, three. We've got two more drawings left, so maybe I try and get maybe I try and get something a bit bigger on the bottom of here. We'll see. We'll see what comes up. I apologise for these slightly small drawings. If you want to see some bigger drawings, check out some of the other episodes. Uh, the ones where you've got eight, ten minutes, you can really sort of start to get to work and uh, end up with some quite nice full page illustrations. That was done on a live stream. If you're interested in that, check over on uh, Twitch or subscribe. Sometime I live stream on YouTube as well. Um, and in the live streams, we take a little bit longer, maybe a couple of hours, um, just to really get a nice image together. But without further ado, let's jump forwards in time to our next place. This is the Germany. It's the Brandenburg Gate, I believe, and it is in a uh, history lesson, Berlin. Um, Brandenburg door. We're going to go here. This looks like it could be it. Yeah, we've got kind of the archy roady bit, so we're maybe just out here. And we're going to make a drawing of... Do we try and attempt this in one minute? Oh, we'll, we'll give anything a go. Right, so this is going to be a long drawing. Coming right along. And we have got block in the middle. So we're going to be really quick on this sketch. Block on the side. Block on the side. In the centre we've got one, two, three, four, five. So one, two... Three, four, we've not made that big enough, so we're going to come back and shorten these pillars, shorten these gaps. I'll do us. And then we're going to give these the essence of being passable. Got this curved road coming around in front. And then we've got a, uh, what looks like a chariot. On top with a figure on. Possibly holding a scepter. A scepter with a snake? Looks like it. Looks like an angel holding a some kind of snake scepter. Um, we've then got going down this way, we've got ten seconds remaining. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, across. One, two, three, four, five, and across. Very, very quick drawing of the Brandenburg Brandenburg Gate uh, Brandenburg Tor Brandenburg Bran Den Burger Berg ER Tor Berlin So Considering it was a, <laughs> a panicked kind of one and a half minute sketch, we've got the essence, we've got the structure, we've got the the shapes that you that you quickly block out, and then you can start adding in your details um, as a kind of as, as a kind of uh, memory um, sketch. Not bad at all. So we've got this little slither of paper along the end here. I wonder if I can position it. We're going to hope that we can get an image, which is nice and thin. 
on our final round. 14 yards on that one, 5,000 points. I'm sure that I'm not going to be the winner of this round if anyone's playing along, as, uh, well, some of the other guesses were a little bit poor. Final round. Oh, this is... This is got to be Machu Picchu. So as a general rule, when I do geosketching, I um, limit myself to not being able to move with the game. If you're playing yourselves, you can select different levels of difficulty, different, uh, you can make allow yourself to move around the map. But we're going to come in and we are going to say we are in Peru. Uh, oh, this is where I need to try and remember where. Where it is? Is it somewhere here? Sort of central Peru? Is it further north? Right, we're going to start drawing. Maybe we'll come back. Let's go up here. We'll come back if we can. And we actually have got our 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 dream of a nice long drawing. So we can see we've got this coming down this way. This coming up over this way. And we're going to try, if we can, to slap a bit of colour on it this time. 48 seconds remaining. Well, this is, might be a little bit uh, optimistic. So we got bits of green for this. Bits of green for this. Then we need a very quick wash for the background in a nice dark blue. Hold that. 20 seconds remaining. And then we can start bringing in a little bit of a dapple of some different greens just to give those kind of definition points. Show that kind of falling off. And then a little bit of a nice brown colour just to show the rock faces. Come on, we can't have long left on this drawing now. I apologise that you're on ball spot cam. And there we go. Oof. Uh, well, we could have been better. Now, the question is... Was it... It was Machu Picchu. Yeah, you know, there are other um, famous places out that way. But on a map called Famous Places, Machu Picchu would be the one that jumps out. And view our summary. And so we've travelled the globe in this video. From the prison of Alcatraz through to an art gallery in Spain. Cross into the northern French monastery of Mont Saint-Michel. To the great Grand Brandenburg tour. And finally, the ancient Machu Picchu. It's been really fun hanging out with you doing a little bit of drawing. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. Let me know which of these drawings jumped out as the best for you. Did you make any drawings? Pop links to them in the descriptions below. I'll see you next time for some more GeoSketcher. It's been a blast. Come back and uh, watch some more next time something uploads by hitting the subscribe button. There's a little bell you can hit as well that notifies you every time I upload. It'll uh, ping up and tell you you've got a new challenge your next Geo Sketcher is ready for you to take on. I'll see you next time.